Hey everyone, here's a question from square and square root. Show that 17,640 is not a perfect square. So whenever you have to check the given number is perfect square or not, we're going to use a prime factorization method. We're going to use a pri uh, this, we're going to factorize this number. Uh, like we're going to use a prime factorization method to factorize it. And then later we're going to see if each factor is in pair or not. So I'm going to explain that in the next step. First, let us factorize this. So number here is 17,640. Now this is an even number. I'm going to start with the 2 which is a prime number. Remember in this method you have to take only prime numbers. So 2 8's are 16. 1 is a remainder. We got 16 again. So 2 8's are 16. 2 2's are 4 and then 2 zero's are 0. So this is how I factorize a number. It's a short way. Instead of dividing and doing it, I'll just do it here itself. If you have your own way of doing it, you can go for it. Otherwise you can just divide the number and write down the answer in this step. The next, the given number is also, the number we got is also even number. We'll go with 2 again. 2 4s are 8, 2 4s are 8, 2 1s are 2, 2 zeros are 0. Again, this is an even number. So we'll go with 2 again. 2 2s are 4, 2 2s are 4. Now this 1 doesn't go, right? So we cannot take two numbers uh, together. So 1 doesn't go means 2 zeros are 0. And then you can take 1 and 0 along like how you do in division if number doesn't go we take two zeros are 0 and then we'll take the second digit right the same thing now I'm going to take 10 together so 2 5s are 10 now this number is not a even number it's an odd number so I have to take some other factor so let us try with 3 uh, so 3 7s are 21 okay I'm taking first two numbers now 21 so 1 is a remainder it doesn't go so 3 3 is a 9 so 1 is a remainder again so 15 we got so 3 5 is a 15 again let us type this number goes in 3 so 3 2 is a 6 1 is a remainder 3 4 is a 12 1 is a remainder 3 5 is a 15 now 245 doesn't go in a 3 so we're going to take the next prime number which is 5 so 5 4 is a 20 4 is a remainder that makes a number 5 45 so 5 9 is a 45 now we got here 49 so 45, 49 doesn't go in uh, 5 so let us take the next prime number which is 7 so 7 7 is a 49 and the last we have 7 1 is a 7 so the prime factorization is over well, we got 1 so you can stop it now let us rewrite all these factors what we got so this is so 1, 7, 6, 4, 0 is equal to, write down all the factors what you got. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 7. Now once you have done this, you have to start pairing up. If the number is perfect square, all the fa prime factors will be in a pair. Like here, you can see this 2 is forming a 1 pair. 3 is forming a 1 pair and 7 is forming a pair but you can see that this 2 and 5 we don't have a pairing which means the given number is not a perfect square so like I said before if there are the factors will be in a pairing if the number is perfect square here they are not so we can say that this is not a perfect square so let us conclude the answer now since prime factors prime factors are not paired therefore 17640 that is 17640 is not perfect square so that's it I hope this question is clear you have to just prime factor as a number and see if the prime factors are in a pair or not if they are then the given number is a perfect square if it is not then they are not a perfect square now i hope this question is clear in case you have other questions or doubts you can drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching